Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Apex Legends out of sync with server error message you are receiving on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to check the date and time settings down in your taskbar and make sure that they are correct. If they are not, you may want to right click on it and select adjust date and time. You want to go ahead and scroll down and select the Sync Now button. And you want to make sure that it syncs correctly and that your date and time settings are correct as well as the time zone. If you're having an issue still, you can try turning off setting time automatically and then go ahead and set the date and time manually by selecting the Change button, the correct date and time from this page, then select Change, and then attempt to connect to Apex's servers and then hopefully that should have resolved the problem. Also attempt to sign out and sign back into your Apex account. That's something else I'd recommend taking a look at. As well as opening up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS, should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go ahead and type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter, should come back with successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Proceed to close out of here and then restart your computer. And now hopefully if you can try and connect to the Apex Legends game server, you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do apologize for the help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.